So we've looked at how to find the midpoint, the point in the middle of two endpoints. Let's see if we can find the distance. That's just the distance from one point to another. To do this, we're going to use the distance formula. D equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This formula actually is derived from the Pythagorean theorem, but for now, let's just take this for what it is, the distance formula. Let's start by finding the distance between these two points here. So first, let's identify what those endpoints are. Right here, we've got 0, negative 4, and our second point is going to be 3, comma, 0. Just like before, let's go ahead and label these. I'm going to say this is x1, y1. This is going to be my x2 and y2, just like midpoint. It doesn't matter which point goes first. Just make sure you keep it consistent. Now let's plug in these values into our distance formula. That's going to be our square root of x2 minus x1, 3 minus 0 squared, plus y2 minus y1, that's 0 minus negative 4 squared. Okay, let's go from there to simplify. That's going to give us d equals the square root of 3 minus 0, that's just 3 squared, plus negative 0 minus negative 4, that's going to become positive 4 squared. Okay, going from there, we'll get d equals the square root of 9 plus 16. That's just 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. Keep on simplifying. That's going to be d equals the square root of 25, and we know the square root of 25 is 5, so our distance is going to be 5 units. Let's find the distance between these two points. 2, 2, and negative 2, 0. First, let's label these x1, y1. These points here can be x2, y2. Then let's plug it all into our distance formula. Plugging that in, we'll get x2 minus x1, negative 2 minus 2 squared, plus y2 minus y1, 0 minus 2 squared. Going from there, we'll get d equals the square root, negative 2 minus 2, is negative 4 squared, and I'm going to put parentheses around this negative because that negative is going to have to get squared as well. Plus 0 minus 2 squared is going to be negative 2 squared. Hang in there, almost done. We're going to get the distance equals the square root. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16, plus negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Remember, negative, when you square a negative, it becomes positive. Then, that's going to give us a grand total of the square root of 20. Now, keep in mind, from last unit, we can simplify this, right? 20 can break down into 4 times 5, 2 times 2. We get a pair of 2s. We can pull that out. So, our overall distance is going to equal 2 square root of 5, because we had this 4 or 2 squared that we can pull out, and 5 left over. So our distance is 2 squared of 5.